Beautiful Pinnacle 36 FBTS here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is the one that has that just gorgeous, very residential-like front bathroom and middle bedroom. Uh, 14,130 pounds, so plan your vehicle accordingly. We uh, have trucks. If you want to come and visit us and see what this thing looks like, we'll give you a tour of it. After that, we can always deliver it right onto your campsite or your driveway for you. Or we have vehicles we can do package deals. Um, there are so many really cool features on this like the little remote control touch screen system here for your uh, patio uh, awnings your lights your slide outs um, your leveling system you can all operate that right from here right from your pocket what i think is cool about it is not so much on this side of the trailer but the other side of the trailer if you can't uh if, if like you're setting up your rv alone and you want to make sure that like your slide out's not going to crush something on your campsite one person can line a sight that slide out with this remote and never smash anything up if dual power awnings with the uh, flex fabric guard up here if you notice this skin material that is a flexible shield that goes over your awning skin to keep it protected from uh, excessive weather exposure. Um, pinnacles are going to be a little bit heavier than most things. There's a lot of reasons for that. One of the biggest reasons is they're a little taller and they are a good chunk wider. These are wide body RVs. Um, a lot, most, most RVs are standard eight foot wide body. This is a 102 inch wide body like a giant toy hauler. That extra six inches across the entire RV is hugely noticeable in non-slide rooms like the, uh, the uh, bathroom and bedroom, but you can equally feel it anywhere in the RV. Huge drop frame basement here, and just to give you an idea how big this is, that's a 48-inch uh, uh, HD TV here, dwarfed by the size of this, and you do see the little outside hookups right there. Uh, central vacuum system, not uncommon in a big coach like this. Uh, you know, extra thick laminated baggage doors, and speaking of insulation, uh, pinnacles are uh, about the only thing that are truly zero to 100 degree tested and published data. Jayco publishes the data they're testing. A lot of brands I've seen, you got to really watch these guys like, well, we, we've, we've tested our units. And they don't tell you the results. you got to watch out for sh just, just sleazy marketing like that. Uh, largest front storage in class. This is generator prep. That's an option. There is some optional equipment on this one. So if you're watching this video and there's some things you like here, uh, click over to our website. If you're just on YouTube, I leave you links to do that um, in a couple different places, actually. And uh, like if you're on a desktop, you're probably seeing one right up here right now. If you're on a uh, you know uh, mobile platform, like your phone or something, then uh, in the video description you'll see those links. If we have this in stock, which we try to all the time, this is super popular and we sell out of it often, but we try to keep it back in stock. Um, we will tell you how it is equipped and how much it is with that set of equipment. Uh, more ride pin box and suspension system here so that everything is rubber shock dampening. This uh, alleviates shocks laterally, whereas the suspension alleviates shocks vertically, so they all, it's a system that works together. Um, slide out awning uh, covers are something that we've added to this so that you can really take, especially here in the Midwest where you've got falling debris from trees, it's just not going to gum up your slides. Uh, enclosed docking station back here uh, so that you know you can actually have all your valves and everything tucked away. And they give you an easy to read uh, little schematic here so you know how to flip what switches which way to get you the type of service you want. Um, largest, uh, uh, best in class, 12 gallon fast recharge water heater, um, automatic leveling system. And I like how they leave their leveling controller out here where you can get to it. I've noticed some brands are leaving it under the uh, baggage door on the opposite side. So you have to hop out, climb all the way around to get to it. This makes more sense. Uh, uh, laminated walls, laminated slide walls. This is all a true high gloss, uh, finish. So you're going to have that mirror-like feel to it. Um, the roof line is actually uh, wrapped over. You've got these corner mold extrusions up here so that uh, you it's a stronger structural way to build things so that you don't have the uh, uh, high stressed areas, the, the corner of the RV with a, a seam right there. It's harder to build this way. It's better. This roof actually is built just like a diesel pusher. It's all built on a jig on ground level so the guys can actually see what they're doing and really work on it. And then it's hoisted into place and mounted, just again, like a diesel pusher. That is very cool. This has a power electric cord reel, because these 50 amp cords can be kind of a beast to work with. So that is a power retractable cord system. The cord just kind of feeds out these little punch away pockets right there. Uh, the roof ladder here takes you up to the full walk on Magnum Truss Plus 
roof system. Uh, all aluminum roof trusses, heavy duty, uh, wide body plywood, uh, roof decking, floor decking, everything. Every bit of construction on this is a best in class feature. There are some brands that will match some of these things. There is no one else that matches all these things. Uh, we've got a uh, nice accessory hitch on the back here for like bike racks. And I like that they double up LED tail lights. You're just guaranteed to just not have light problems that way, you know. Uh, there's a good look at the second awning right on the face of the slide. All the windows open for some form of ventilation. They're all UV tinted to keep the interior of the RV uh, cooler and give you more privacy. Amazingly, not every RV in a big fifth wheel class has tinted windows. You take that for granted, but it's true. Um, a quad entry step because this does have a, a taller tires and taller chassis so the floor does sit higher so they give you quad steps to make that easy. And they're the anti-slip aluminum boat dock style steps so you're not going to fly around on those when your shoes get wet. Um, going to go ride a bike, going to take a canoe trip or something, just don't want to lose your keys, keyless entry pad so you don't got to worry about it. It's just simpler, smarter, easier, better. Um, right as we walk in here, this is a bath and a half model. You can You have direct access to that bathroom right over there. Now, you are just flooded with lighting in this. There are so many different uh, lighting options within this pinnacle. It's just not even funny. Um, I don't know the name of this color scheme offhand, so pardon me on that. I, there's just too many names, and they all have these cute names, like uh, Brisk Willow or something like that. You know, something that sounds like a subdivision. <laughs> Brisk Willow Pines. Um, so if you like everything in this except the fabric decors, we are probably going to get another one uh, with different interior or have one with a different interior. Now you've got all your ceiling lights on easy access switches, little um, spotlights above seating areas like this. They leave you easy switches to reach all those. Um, and they, they tend to put them up a little bit where maybe visiting grandkids can't get to them. So these are uh, all solid surface countertops. Uh, they've recessed the sink and the stove to maximize your counter space. I like the little track lighting down here, the uh, indirect under uh, lighting by the tow kick. At night, it's like it's like an aircraft runway. It, it runs you right to that big residential refrigerator that we put in here. Um, we'll come back to the kitchen real quick, but I do want to point out the little power tower, the little pull-out power tower right here. We got USB plugs for phones by the door, appliance plugs with the uh, the, the prongs pointing in different directions, so you've always got an, uh, a nice place to plug in appliances right there. Um, they, uh, they radius this right here so you can walk right through, and if I don't have these doors open, you see it's actually quite a large walkway. Um, the uh, We'll come back to the kitchen. I keep saying that. All the woodwork in here, by the way, is hardwood. This isn't just um, hardwood doors. These are actual, you know, hardwood styles, not with a sticker app. Everything's real wood. TVs are included with this. You saw the TV boxes in the basement. We have them shipped loose so that you're the first people to touch them when you get it home. So th what's cool about this pinnacle is it, it just, it looks, feels, breathes bigger, better. Um, the thing here is they, they gave it that telescopic recessed television right there, but they also gave it that window for more light, more air, more pass-through. And now, being wider body and full walk-in height slide outs, even a tall guy like me with a hat, you can see you can still stand in the slide outs. It just feels so big and lavish and rich in here. And it's just never uh, cramped. You never feel like you're tripping over one another in this one. Uh, double arched ceiling inside and out for maximum structural capacity as well as just feeling bigger inside. Whisper Quiet AC up here. You don't see the air conditioner, but that's what these little jets here are for. Uh, it actually, uh, Jayco redesigned their air system so it's quieter and has better airflow. Uh, so we've got a 30,000 BTU central air system on this, another best-in-class feature. I love all the indirect lighting, very diesel pusher in nature. There are wall controllers for any uh, ceiling vent fan you see, so you don't have to be 99 feet tall to get up to that thing. Um, the uh, oh over here by the uh, the fireplace fireplace mantle that's an electric space heater so you don't need to burn up your propane. We even have this little hideaway desk drawer and that's just like perfect for like your little TV remotes and things like that. Maybe a little camping guide you get from the parks. Um, all those little extra things. Man, lights, lights everywhere, everywhere. All hidden hinge cabinets so they look nice and clean. This is a trifold memory foam sleeper sofa for guests back here. The ottoman uh, flips open on the top for storage, so that's dual purpose as well. These uh, side stands, they made 
Uh, very functional, but very minimal, so they're not like in your face and they don't look bulky. And both side stands have power outlets, and the one over here also has twin USB plugs, again for uh, appliances and whatnot. And I love the way they've trimmed and dressed these windows. That is so sharp. Dual section, uh, night shades, uh, well, day and night roller shades, by the way. So those are the, uh, the quiet ones, not the ones that go... <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the ones you always see in a movie. It's like when you've got the wicked evil teacher giving the little girl problems. She always snaps the map and goes da, 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 like that. I, I won't make that sound again. I'm sorry. Residential ceiling fan. Give you some good airflow with all these windows that open up when you don't want to blaze that awesome AC. Uh, wall hugging theater recliner over here. So you don't have to like pull it away from the wall. That amazingly is not something that every big fifth wheel has. Some of these things you have to bear hug and wrestle the furniture away from the wall if you want to recline it. They don't seem to tell you that at the sales place though. They just tell you that it's got a theater seat. You need to do some homework to find out about things like that. We talked about how tall the slides are. Taller slides mean bigger windows and around this freestanding table they were not shy about putting in monster mega windows. And what I like about these is these are right on the camping side of your trailer. You can look at your campsite, your picnic table, your fire pit right out here. So we have a hidden extension leaf in this table here. And this is definitely a couple's coach. Pinnacles aren't family bunk houses. Um, so you have two full-time chairs. And I like how they just easily strap right to the floor. It's simple. They don't rock around in transit. Now, it also comes with a pair of decor matching uh, fold-away chairs. The seating on that sits the same level as that, but you can throw those in your front closet, under your bed, wherever you want. In the half bath, or what, I don't care. Put them wherever you want, and they're out of the way. These are all floor flush insulated slides, by the way. Again, insulation levels on uh, pinnacles are uh, second to none. They're awesome. There is just this thing, the kitchen in this is amazing. Like, I love this little open visible pantry section down here. Um, you've got, this thing has so many drawers that the drawers have drawers in the drawers of the drawers. It's incredible. You ever say the word drawers so many times, you're starting to fit, you, you can't decide if you're saying it with a D or a J to begin with. That's kind of where I'm at right now. I've said the word drawers a lot today. More drawers with a D, not a J over here all heart uh, plywood constructed you know there's there's nothing scaled back this is actually pretty neat i don't know how well this will translate but um yeah hold on let me let me shed some light on the topic here we got the technology buddy boom right there you see that little padded holder that is for your sink covers in transit they give you a they purpose build a place to keep those out of the way they're premeditating and and purpose building things in areas you probably wouldn't even think to look at and they're still doing it. This pantry right here actually has its own cool little backlight. Bang, right there. And I love the purpose-built wastebasket space. And this is all adjustable shelving. So you can have as big or as little storage space as you want when you want it. Now, I talked about the half bath here being the perfect place for... Well, I like that. Oh, look at that nightlight. I didn't realize that was in here as well. Check that out. Um, but uh, that's the perfect place. Uh, yeah, right when you walk in the door, quick trip to the bathroom, get out. Or if you have guests, it's a guest bathroom because you probably don't want to go in through your very personal bedroom space just to get to the bathroom. Now they don't have to. Notice that just because we left the kitchen doesn't mean we scaled down. We're still solid surface everywhere. Stainless steel everywhere. Good, I mean, just bonus storage everywhere they could. Everywhere they could, they put storage because more storage is never, 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 ever the wrong answer. That is a never, never, ever, by the way. Um, conserve a little battery power here, pardon me. The um, And notice that you still got those air traffic controller lights even up here. What's neat is one switch operates those through the entire coach. So uh, you can flip on your little night lights at night and they kick on in every room and you don't have 10 different switches in 10 different rooms. Um, this is a faux wood. It's uh, it's like that composite wood. So it's not slippery, but it has a good look to it. And it's a triple step, not a, uh, a double. So it's just easy in and out. Um, you do have, I like the whole handle here. Um, you have a sliding pocket door right here. And uh, look at this thing. Once again, just easy one switch lighting. And that is just that's really pretty. That real dark, smoky glass on that really privatizes this very nicely. So we do have a True King here. This is a 70 by 80 True King mattress. And, um, you know, the, the bedspread on this is really sharp. They're using really high-grade uh, bedding compared to what you find industry standard. Again, all hardwood slide fascia to match your hardwood uh, everything in here. And, you know, True Walk Upstairs. Walkable Upstairs. I'm not even close to hitting my head. I don't care if I stand all the way to the side. It's, it's, what is this? It's got to be like six, 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 seven sidewall height up here plus a six inch arch. 
Here's your, your second um, centralized AC, and both ACs are centralized, so they can work independently or together. Um, uh, bedside power outlets to run your CPAP machines. Um, the uh, dresser here, great storage space right there. And the uh, bedroom TV is included. I don't know if you noticed that. There were two TV boxes. Your little phone charging station right here in your entertainment center. Um, and I like this big window for cross breeze and light here in your bedroom is a very nice touch. The bedroom in this is outstanding. My battery box is dying. I got to shut lights off behind me as we go. Pardon me. So right when we come in, once again, bang. Every room is residential style in that it has just one switch lighting. Again, another bigger, badder, better Max Air fan. We have a one-piece seamless shower in here. So there's nowhere that water can penetrate. It can't fail anywhere. And if you're wondering how Jayco builds their stuff, how well it is, check this out. If that offends you that I jump in the shower, I'm sorry that you're used to looking at things where somebody can't jump in the shower. That is a zero flex self-reinforced shower enclosure, another best in class feature. I can literally jump in the shower. They didn't have to add reinforcements to the bottom. That's the enclosure itself. Plus, we have the nice little seating area so you can sit to bathe if you need to. Um, if you do like to uh, do the full timing thing, you need washers and dryers. This is prepped for a stackable right here, or you've just got some major mega monster storage. Now this is a newer thing that they just added. Uh, when I was in the closet earlier, I, was, I, I spotted what looked like an optical sensor, but at the time, I couldn't figure out what it did, and I figured that in time, the answer would uh, present itself to me. So as I was walking through here, I put my arm in, and bang, that light kicked on. There's an optical sensor right here, a motion sensor that detects movement, so the closet light kicks on when you open it. But it shuts off when you're not, how cool is that? That's just rocket science cool that is just extremely cool this is a true uh you know like walk-in type closet in in the rv world by the way this is pretty big we've got great storage on both sides they cedar line this so you're not going to have the moth problems they use every inch of that nose cap they can there's the other chair i was telling you about more good shelving storage space i love that they did the dual lavatory here the double sink and again still um hard surface still uh stainless undermounted um, I turned the lights off, but it still has that, you know, I keep calling it the air traffic controller light down here. And I love the, you've got the his and hers medicine cabinets and just this big wide open uh, space here with this skylight, that fan, that skylight, and these mirrors, you really don't even need lights in here most of the time and it lights up pretty well. There, and here's the other thing. I can't believe I didn't talk about this sooner. Holy crap. This has double the warranty of basically anything else in this class. Jayco's are, are known for their warranty. They set the gold standard in just about any area in which they are active and compete. And uh, the Pinnacle is just a serious monster in the business, guys. Um, it's not the lightest on the market. It's probably not the lowest dollar, but it's not the highest dollar and it's not the heaviest, yet it still carries the, the best warranty and so many best in class features. Um, I mean, I'm I, I'm a pretty pro Jayco guy. They've they've done well by me in the past. Um, I, uh, I I camp in a far more basic Jayco, but I'm, I'm still a Jayco camper. I believe in what they do down there. I believe in the Pinnacle. I've watched it evolve. When uh, it uh, first, uh, when it used to be the designer, and then they became the Pinnacle, and I've just watched it get better and better and better every year. And this year doesn't disappoint. They just keep getting better. So give us a call. Learn more. 800-256-5196. Remember, we have pieces, parts, hitching, hitching financing, um, trades, anything, everything. I don't care. If you got a goat and three bags of rice. We'll trade you out and we're in business. Let's get rolling and let's get you camping at Halet RV here in Southern Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping everyone.